everyone, welcome back to day 11 of the Lemon Vlogs. We start with a little bit of morning chaos. Yes, it is feed time. We're doing the morning check, making sure all the lambs are looking fit and healthy, especially the ones that came out yesterday, which touch wood so far, all looking good. We all also just have a quick look at all the used bags to make sure nothing looks untoward. So guys, Hope you enjoyed today's video. I've just smashed a Red Bull, so I've got plenty of energy. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it for another day on the Lambing Scene. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Usual tucking into breakfast. There we have the crash area. So this morning we have number 54, 44, 46 on babysitting duties for all the lambs. They're looking well after a cold night. Right, so. We are back from the morning rounds. All the lambs are all okay. We've had a couple of used lamb overnight, but it is a huge day here on the farm because while well, our helpers, it is their 18th birthday. You're not getting out of it. So everyone that's watching today, put a comment saying happy birthday to Sky because it's your 18th, isn't it? Yeah. I know you don't like the camera that much, but yeah, massive happy birthday. Hopefully you can land lots of sheep today to make it a great day. So yeah, um, huge day here on the farm. And then also Sophie's treated herself. Oh, she hasn't got long yet. She has treated herself to a pair of Kaiwakas. So we're going to be matching in the sheep shed. You cannot beat these. Kaiwaker bib and braces, definitely the best on the market. What do you think? Love it. You happy? Yeah. You're not gonna get filthy down the front there. <laughs> I'm sure I will. See, at lambing time, see, Sky's clever. She wears bib and braces. I wore, I wear bib and braces, but so far, no, no, no. But now you changed. Yeah. We've bought you around. Yeah. You can't be a bib and brace. <laughs> now to get more use and lambs out. <laughs> We made it. So first of all, we will let these lambs out, Sky. Sorry, let these ewes out, Sky. Do you want to open those two and start letting the lambs out? And I'll let the ewes out. Usual daily routine. Let the girls see the grass. I'm rubber show Paddy McGuinness. Come on, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, there you go. Show shape. There's some hellishly big lambs in here. Just look at this, some of these porkers. Just look at them. Now that one's a corker. Chaos begins, so what they do now, if you haven't seen before, all the ewes know their lambs and they'll go around and find them, they'll wander off, pair off, and they'll be chilled. It's just a bit of a mad, bit of a mad 10 15 minutes. Just look, that you sniffing every lamb, bunching every lamb, just to make sure she's got her lambs. It's mad, like in a hospital, if you got given someone else's baby, you'd have no clue, would you? If you haven't seen it before, that is. You would have a clue if you'd seen it before, but you won't know by smelling it. The great thing about these clins too, a lot of these were born yesterday and they'll come out today. We don't leave them inside for ages. They're hardy little things, which is perfect when you haven't got a lot of space inside. So yeah, leave these pair up. I will come back um, and make sure they're all okay in a little bit. We'll head back to the shed because we've got out of mucking out duty. It's a great bit about driving the tractor. All these hate me for it, but someone has to drive, don't they? Well, it has been a quiet day since me and Sky went and let those lambs out. Not a lot has gone on. 
you two land the twin. Yeah. We've just had a single land. I think that's been about it since this morning. Two mad days. We have uh, just under 80 ewes left. The two days before we had, what was it, 54 yeah. land we worked out? Yeah. And there is literally... I don't know why, there's like one or two yellow bums, but I reckon what's happened, they're probably tucked again with another colour and we haven't seen it. So, yeah, we've got, this is day 11. There's 10 more days of lambing because we left the tucks in for three weeks. So we've got 80 odd to lamb in 10 days. I reckon we're going to have one more busy day. I reckon one more busy day and then that's the back of it broke. It is feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Princess wants her tea, don't you? <laughs> Let's go get it. If I can find the buckets. Where be all the buckets? Where be all the buckets? Fantastic. Yes. I'm back with milk. Plenty of milk because we need to top up all these border listers. <laughs> I'm joking, we still we have to feed the quintuck foots here and James just doing one where a ewe's got a bad quarter. So yeah, I'd rather top them up. Uh, we're using artificial milk from um, Shine Eureka. Really good stuff. I'll show you how I make it tomorrow. We've used it four years now and we definitely, definitely recommend to anyone. We've used other brands in the past and the lambs never do as well. Um, Main thing is, this is made from actual used milk, and a lot of it, I mean, yeah, where a lot of it is used from different types of milk, aka cows. Boop, 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 boop. Feed time! Feed time! Come on! There you go. Look at him, he's full. Oh, lamby number two, and him. There you go. Professional, how are you liking your uh, kaiwakers? Um, They're good, aren't they? Yeah. There's no legs. <laughs> oh, I mean. You don't have to be born like that. Yeah. And it's built clean with its shoulder so it makes it wider. No, so all of these still got their They've got two. Yeah. They've, these have all got two. Yeah. So Will's gonna give her that go. one and then pull out the second probably. Oh. Good girl. Another boy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. Out of all the things you can see, that's what you've got the most disgusted about. Oh. There we go. She pushed it out herself. Once it was there. Is that a boy or a girl? A girl. Hey. They can walk within like seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we take years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As ever, Will leaves me alone <laughs> and oh god, and something starts slamming. I did see that she'd already pushed out the first one. Oh, and thank the Lord, the second one's out, so I don't need to do anything. Fabulous. So I'll go make sure there's a pen ready and then I'll move them. Right, so you've just seen me lamb a set of yeah. twins and Sophie's been in charge for a couple of hours on the lambing duties, haven't you? Yes. And we've had a very cool lamb. What, what's cool about this lamb? It's got a really big black mark. Do I grab it? Yeah. yeah. Look, at, Look that. at that black spot. <laughs> it's almost a Suffolk. To be I did exactly what you just did then because I wasn't sure it was like a proper black mark, yeah. but it is. The one thing we have found, so some people have cleans and they get an odd blue one. So you know blue texels, so a bit black and white. I've never had that with a clean, but apparently some tops and some bloodlines 
for blue ones. We get quite a lot with big black spots. Yeah. Not loads, but I like them. I've got a you in the flock, which I've kept because it's a huge one on its side. Um, but it's drawing to the end of another evening. We've had a single lich had just been born. I've had a very cool thing sent to me. So one of the followers has sent me a photo. So I'll put a massive thank you to Ella. Absolutely amazing. Not a photo, a drawing. So um, yeah, just having a wander around. We've done a lot of topping up for the evening, basically feeding the board Lester's. Stop it, it's not just them. <laughs> okay, there's, there is uh, one clean and uh, the quintuplets. Um, let's have a look at this single cracker, one we've missed. To be fair, there isn't anything that needs adopting at the moment, is there? And I found the last couple of days, the lambs have actually shrunk back a bit. She's going over there. But um, yeah, obviously I was saying the lambs are getting too big, but now, don't want to jinx it, but yeah, the last couple of days they've actually shrunk back in size. I have no idea why. I, I've got a feeling, it might not be the feed, it might be the grass. I thought, my, I don't know. They've been on haylage now for a couple of weeks, whereas a lot of the earlier born ones were on grass longer. So, don't know, I've no clue really. Yeah, well yeah, here's this single. Mother up really well. Homebred shearling. Look at it, absolute cracker. One out of the new tub. Doing this absolute smashing, smashing job as a mum, aren't you? Always final job of the day, waters and feed to make sure that these girls have water. Is producing this milk, they need a hell of a lot of water. It's really important. If they don't have it, they're not going to produce milk. Come on, girl. 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 Come